Well, here we are, guys. Happy Remasters Day. And we are back with everyone's favorite Valentine, Lara Croft. And honestly, I'm beyond excited not necessarily to play the main game right now. It's something I've been seeing in other people's playthroughs and I, I was just so curious about it because I couldn't necessarily wrap my head around it. How the heck are they going to do modern controls in the classic games? And from the, from the look of it, it doesn't seem very well adapted, but at the same time, there has to be something that makes the modern controls work in a sensible way. Let's get into Lara's home in Tomb Raider 3 since that's the one where she actually has guns. Wow, the lighting in here. Okay, let's not waste time. Thank you, Lara. Straight to the assault course. I need, I need to know what the heck they've done to the controls. So I'll tell you straight up right now, I'm a fan of both the classic series and the Legend trilogy. I like the way those games control as well, and I'm very familiar with the classic controls. What I hope that they haven't done is just tacked on the modern controls onto the classic games. That does a disservice to both of these like trilogies. I think they said you can do a roll while you're crawling. What button is that? I mean, I know you can like dip off of things, which is fantastic. And and none of these games will tell you that, by the way. How do you do the uh, forward roll? I've never been privy to that. Somehow I get the feeling it's like a jump thing, but I'm not. Is it like a double tap? Uh, as usual in old games, we have to just like push buttons. To figure out what things do you have like you have to hold the crouch button there's no way it's doable without holding the crouch button the walk button doesn't do anything the jump button do you have to hold it do you hold the walk button and press jump no do you hold the sprint button and press jump no come on throw me a bow and i don't want to look it up oh wait hold on oh you is that the flare button hold on she held something is that the speed how did she... how did i do that I was holding something down and she was just going. I swear it was the flare button. Come on, do it again. Ugh. This bitch. <clears throat> Fine, let's just get the guns. We, got, we gotta figure out modern controls. New animations, amazing. Alright. Now, let's actually go through the obstacle course and see what the heck this is about. Let's get our bearings with movement, right? So we're moving over to modern controls. What are the controls for modern controls? We have... Uh, Weapon being mouse. Or nope, that's a mouse. That's not. Look, is still that. Uh, roll. Yep, that's still end. W A S D. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Can I have that back, please? Thank you. Ah, I see. Well, it, it works. It works out. So back in the day when Legend and Anniversary came out, I was so used to the classic controls that I was just like, just put the classic controls on Legend and Anniversary. And so I, I was really good at like moving my hands around the keyboard, but it, it worked. Uh, one thing I was wondering about, um, so Roll does that. All right. So if you could just go forward and uh, it changes your camera. Um, if you go forward and roll, I wanted to see if I could do like a, just a continuous back roll. Uh, one, two three four five okay not quite a speed run strat but you can do that like you have a lot of control over your movement when you when you jump with modern first i'll try this without using the mouse much because that's how i used to do it okay oh hey there's winston all right so this is something i'm curious about right there's no back there's no standard tap back right and you have to take out your guns and hold them to, 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 to press, to, oh. Here's another thing that's not correct about how they adapted modern controls. Lara would strafe, so if she locks on, she's not gonna, like, if you turn around, you don't lock off. Like, Winston is in my sights, he's gonna stay in my sights, right? They let you do the, the lock on thing. Get up, Winston, I'm not done with you yet. But they don't let you strafe, which is, like, you can still move while doing your lovely little side flips and your rolls and blah, blah, blah. Here it doesn't really doesn't really work out that well here and what i don't like especially because I've, I've seen some people play lara's home in the first two games there's no extra tutorial for modern control so in reality if a new player is playing these games if they come to lara's home which to be quite honest with you the fact that the game doesn't tell you to go to lara's home or that it's a tutorial is <laughs> i can foresee that like screwing a lot of people up just like it did back in the day the fact that they don't like teach you the modern controls means that even if the modern controls worked 
perfectly well, the tank controls are still easier because you actually get taught how the game's system works by Lara herself. Like the game's already so... wait... my... what is happening? My All of my controls just stopped working. Oh, the look button is locked! Uh -huh. That's fascinating. Okay, so it's it's kind of yeah, it is like anniversary and legend where you press the look button to like basically Lara can't aim in a, in the direction you're pointing. Like usually the reason to lock Lara down while she was looking is so that you know she could aim at something specific, but she's not gonna do that here. All right, well, hello Winston. Are you are you coming to do the course with me? He looks nice. Oh, I press the look button again. Oh, that's gonna screw me up. I always hold the look button in these games. So yeah, strafing's not in, which already, like, completely undermines the system. A lot of players end up just, like, releasing the button. Like, it fits more with, um, like, the Survivor trilogy, like, where if you're using your mouse to aim, like, you'd probably just hold down right mouse button and you'd press the left mouse button to shoot and that would be it. But here, it's... it... Mm. It doesn't really feel right, like you don't... Let, let me actually try that. Let me actually try to aim with the mouse. Right, so guns out with right mouse. You hold that down and Lara can move in pretty much any direction. Okay, I think I see... I think I see the um, appeal here with the mouse, specifically. If you turn... She... She, she straight up faces away. If you press back... What? Hold on. If you press back, when you still, she does that. If you turn, and turn again... Oh, okay. What if I press back now? She, she, she jumps back sometimes, but not others. And if you press forward here, she jumps back. I think it's probably based on the camera perspective. Like, if you're facing straight head on at your target, she'll do the jump back. But if you like turn a little bit and she's facing sideways, she... No, that's not it either. Why is it that sometimes she just like straight up runs away from the target? What is that? Is that like automatic? Like, like I think if I'm extra close to Winston, it works like that. But if I face him and then I tap back, is it really a proximity thing? Does the game decide for me? Tap back there. Tap back here. Tap back again and again and again. Okay, so why does she want to run away sometimes? Like as soon as I like kind of like lo lose focus. This is so strange. I have to figure this out. Like guys, I need consistency in my controls. I'm sorry, I, I keep losing track because things keep coming up. The thing about modern controls in new games is that it's easy to just jump on things now it's so hard to like make Lara like face exactly be based on camera so you really actually kind of have to like be a fiend with your camera control now so yeah you kind of oh come on am I doing something wrong my button is not accurate right blah 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 action action is control what does action do anything secondary seems to do like everything that you needed to. Is that what it is? Is secondary just like action for... Like, no, but action kind of works. This is mind-boggling, guys. I I have to, I have to understand. I need to understand. So, what do, does action do anything? Or is it, is it action or just... Can, no, it can't just be control. Action does not seem to do anything. Switches and stuff. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll get to that. Maybe we'll figure that out. Like, let me, let me go check that. Honestly, guys, this... This was not the part that I thought would take a long time. I thought the part that would take a long time is literally <laughs> figuring out jumping, because that's like the big thing. Click. Uh -huh. Okay, so that's what action is. Specifically, so grabbing and shooting are the secondary, and action is everything else, every interactable. So that is definitely disputed. Because, see, I was getting the impression that because you could also, like, grab things with the shoot, with the same button that you shoot with in modern controls, then grabbing was the same as interacting, but apparently not. Move it, Winston. Okay, so let's get to the platforming part of this, like, little research run. Wait, is that a toggle? Uh -huh. No way! 
I thought it was weird. Does does she do the slide? She doesn't even do the slide. Okay, do it again and just hold that. Okay, that's fine. I I, I wasn't even aware that that was a toggle. That's nuts. I feel like they're a, li a little overzealous with the um that being a toggle, cause cause it's limited, right? Like in games where you have like unlimited um, sprint, it makes so much sense for it to be a toggle. But because that's limited, and because she has particular moves she can do at the end of a sprint, I feel like that shouldn't have been. Um, it, it's not necessary for it to be a toggle. It might not matter so much, but okay. So the classic problem is you can't do a tap back here, and it and it, it's kind of weird to be like, okay, I'm gonna do a roll. Yes, yeah, she won't do that, right? So what you're gonna have to end up doing as recommended by some players is actually take out your guns and tap back uh, does that even always work hold on like shift the shift this way lara because like that that thing that was happening with winston earlier where she was running away from him instead of tapping back if that's inconsistent that's that this can't be a solution if i tap back here right yeah you 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 have to make sure your camera is doing what it's supposed to do and i still haven't figured out what the real distinction is that makes her like go back when you're locking onto winston the controls aren't intuitive enough but i still need to understand exactly how they work because at the end of the day a computer is processing these things and there are metrics to what is happening i need to know what the computer is trying to do oh <laughs> you see that that tap back is going to be the crux of the entire issue. But the problem with the tap back is that what if you don't have your guns? Much like in Croft Manor or any level where you don't have your guns, this isn't going to be a feasible solution. So my question is what, what reliable solutions can you have for making these running and jumping, good running and jumping segments? That's what I'm going to try to find out right now. That was actually supposed to be the purpose of this video, but I got distracted by trying to figure out how to do this bloody forward roll thing. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I think I get it. Is it? No? Amazing. Okay, so you hold the flare button and yeah. you press the roll button. Okay. Well, the roll button may- Oh? It's a toggle as well. Uh-huh. Fascinating. I mean, that is- that is- Is that consistent with Legend and Anniversary? No. I think it was a toggle. Anyway, yeah, so that's the flare button, right? Right, so yeah, that's somewhat strange, but okay, I'll, I'll take it. I'm not exactly sure why it couldn't have been, um, just duck and roll. Wait, it is? Uh-huh. What am I- <sighs> Am I high? Because I swear I tried that earlier. I swear I just tried, like, being crouched and pressing roll and it didn't work. Or maybe it's another one of those, like, keyboard lockup things where I can't press certain buttons at the same time. Like, take me- take me back. Take me back to tank. Alright? Right, so... Right, you hold that. Roll. Okay, so holding that and pressing end does not work. Holding that, holding the flare button and pressing end also does not work. Do I have to like be f forward facing? Nope. How the hell did I do that? Hold on, let me... God, this is... How about we roll with V instead? Alright, so hold, hold the crouch button. Press V. Hold the crouch button, go forward, press V. Press V and flare button. How do you do this with... I can do it with modern because it's just like you literally just press the roll button but what in god's name every f oh the sprint button uh -huh. the sprint button the sprint button okay okay go forward okay so she she can't do it when she's on all fours she has to do it when she's like that okay fine cool great oh okay so first of all change roll back to end Let's see if this was actually just a sticky keys problem. Okay, so I think it's a, I think it's one of those um, key combination problems. I can't press N, I can't seem to press N while I'm pressing um, the right arrow bracket. So, whatever, that's something else that's distracted me from figuring out the damn run and jump. 
Back to modern controls, thank you. Note how I'm giving the, these modern controls the big old college try, guys. Like, for the legend anniversary uh, control scheme. Because it's not exactly doing that control scheme justice, let me just say. So, what were we doing? What were we doing? Assuming you don't have guns for these very crucial segments. Oh, swimming. Oh, we I didn't try swimming yet. Yeah, yeah, you just press forward and she goes and you point the camera. Yeah, that's that's nice. That's actually more palatable than what they had in Le Legend and Anniversary. It's something more that, like akin to Underworld. So how do we how do we do a perfect run and jump here? Walking backwards, well when there's a, a ledge behind you is fine. When the platforms are one square like this, it's fine, but but when it's not we, we're gonna have a problem. So, the only thing I could think of, well, at this point, um, I think run back. Is that accurate? Uh, is that, I don't, hmm, that, that's not as bad as I thought it would be. Uh, do it again. All right, run back. Huh. And run forward again. I think that might actually wor work. It's it. You have to be like really careful. It's a lot. It's, you have to be a lot more like careful than when you just tap back. But like having Lara just go two steps back, holding back for like a a second, well, should have her like actually make the space exact. And with your camera forward, uh, hold on. That, I think that was a bad example. I was I was kind of like crooked. That's another thing with these jumps, you kind of have to make sure your camera is like straight ahead on or Lara will kind of like veer to the left and ruin the amount of distance she gets. If your hand is on your mouse, you better ensure... Oh my god. If your hand is on your mouse, you, you'd you better ensure that you are doing everything perfectly lined up. One, two. Right, straight ahead. Jump. And you can grab. And that seems to be fairly fine. Um, one, two. Wait, that wasn't one, two. Uh, uh. What you could also do is the classic walk into run and jump, which is, okay, so you walk to the edge with the white line until you stop. Then you take one, two steps back and you take one step forward and then you just pull jump and hope for the best. Uh, you have to commit to that method, like the timing, the timing has to be perfect. Uh, honestly guys, I, do, I don't think there is a 100% precise method other than using your guns, but when you don't have your guns, I think you're screwed when it comes to run running jumps. Oh yeah, and, and you can't sidestep either. Which, in situations like these, when you just want to face the wall, I think that's... Wait, what? Wait, that's... What? Uh -huh. What? Okay, so I just, I wasn't holding action there. She just like, I, I didn't know she had auto grab. So I, so I just, what? <laughs> so she has auto gra automatic grip on the ledges. Wait, am I doing something wrong? Wait, how, how the heck is, cr guys, I just have, I'm just holding the back button at this camera angle. This, no, you can't do this. I have my, hold on, let me make sure this is accurate. I have my finger on the cursor key backwards, right? And Lara doesn't know what the heck is going on. She's coming toward the camera, which is what you'd expect, but then she's backing up. And if I wanted to do a vault off of here, okay, well, at least that works. Right, so what I just discovered, amazingly enough, tap the action button and you don't have to hold it. You, she just holds it fine, which, you know, cool. Um, it would be better if I didn't have to use the action button at all because if you're going to like have Lara grip the ledge infinitely without me holding the action button, then just have her grip the ledge by herself in the first place. Like it, it feels, I guess, half-assed is one word to put, to put it as. Let's see how the ladder works. Okay, jump, push the grab button once. And it holds for you. Okay, well, there you have it. How, how do I let go? Do I push it again? Do I push it again? Okay, so if I know anything about Legend and Anniversary, if you want to let go, you push, crouch. Okay, flare, sprint, walk. 
down the action button. Oh, who guys, I'm getting heated. Shoot. Guns out. Guys. Roll. Uh-huh. Oh. Thank God. Okay, so you press roll to let go. These things need tutorials. Here's the thing, you can go the entire game. Like, literally a player can go the entire game. Let me jump. A, a player can go the entire game thinking that they need to get off of these things either by jumping off, right? Or by actually manually, slowly climbing down. Let the people know. Because a person can easily get into the habit of doing something else thinking that they can't do a particular thing, like dropping. I, I know this game has subtitles. I've seen it in the cutscenes and when Lara gives her tutorials. Just put brackets around the words when you want to like actually tutorialize the player for modern controls. Tell Lara to shut up and just put subtitles in brackets in the gym. We'll we'll get there. We'll I'll 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 think about it. I'll see what they've done. This part of the assault course is uh gimped. Uh jump forward, jump right. And that's the other thing, you have to be on your mouse, you have to be on your camera because like pressing left and right slightly moves your camera and that, that, that wasn't a straight jump across. That was not a straight jump across. And you see the slight, she has a slight like offset when she like turns around. Like I'm just pressing, I'm just pressing forward and back here and she is moving left and right just from me pressing forward and back. That's dangerous. Like the modern controls are doing things, but I don't think they're doing the things. Let's see, one, two. One. I don't know, like modern players, you're gonna have to find the control scheme that's meant for you. But just like as a disclaimer, you can't just jump willy nilly in this game. You have to have some kind of run up and the game isn't, the modern controls are not letting you have a fun time doing that. I think I like this method. Like if you have guns, it's it's fairly easy. You just take out your guns and tap back. That's probably the easiest method when you have guns. But if you don't, which you might not at this point, um, you'll have to, f oh my God. It's it's for the pros, honestly. Speedrunners use that kind of jump more often than not. I think Winston's taught me everything I need to know about the combat, but I'll, I'll try it out just, just to see. I can't believe I spent this entire time in Lara's home, but I had to know. I was, I, I simply, ooh, that rope texture looks nice. I have to know. All right, the the interact button, of course, of course. Wait, these are modern controls. What, how, how did I do this for modern controls? The sprint button? Guys, I forgot. Rope button. Right, 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 right. And press the crouch button ag again? Twice, oh boy. All right. It just needs strafing. It ha you can't you can't be doing this to me. You need it to strafe. How do you roll then? Do I press the roll button? Yeah, right. uh -huh. yes, of course, of course you do that. Why wouldn't you do that? All right, let's let's go into the gym. Those of you who have been here before, hold on. Oh, they have a. It has a handle. Okay, so this is one of those things where it's like, this doesn't help. They added a door handle, a doorknob, which is deceitful because I kind of want to just like I kind of just want to open it like Lara you got no keys for this why does a door with a doorknob need a switch somewhere else to open that's <laughs> do they all have handles they all have handles now that one can have a handle because that doesn't open but you know she usually says to hold the action button so that's something that <laughs> will kind of deceive you actually you see that that whole almost falling off thing. I don't know if that's like that whole almost falling off is specifically for modern mode. I I I'd like to think it's not. Maybe it sort of happens in classic controls. I mean, I can check. Turn around. All right, hold. Yeah, I feel like walk to the edge with the white line until she stops. Um, turn around. Now walk to the edge. Hmm, actually that might be a concession they made. Let's go back to modern. And if I just press back Yeah, they kind of they kind of um they kind of keep you on the ledge. Yeah, I, I, I think they said she can um save herself from a nasty fall. Yeah, you do. 
Okay. You hold action for that. Okay. Well, you don't release action to let go, but anyway, you press roll. You press roll in case y'all don't know. There is some interesting engineering here, wherein if she's at a wall, she will automatically like give herself space because she kind of has to like completely turn around if you're like pressing back. Like this is some interesting programming that they've done here. It's like just make her move forward in the direction you're holding. But it also means like the only time she'll ever like crawl backwards is at those kind of like blocking points where she has to make space for herself. She doesn't crawl backwards normally. So hence the reason why they made it even more important, but never tell you this, to jump out of crawl spaces. But at the same time, if I go to the edge, if I need to let myself down safely, do can you turn around, Lara? Uh -huh. No, she will not. She will not turn around. This, uh... I have to play this entire game on modern controls and see if it can actually work. I really hope they tested that. I hope they tested the entire game with modern controls only. Because I... Is there a way, Lara? And if if there is, they... Well, one day and tell me it. Like, is there a way for me to just, like, like have you back out of a crawl space normally? Because if there isn't, we might be in problems for when we need to like lower ourselves down safely. I don't know how many parts of the game that happens, but you were not designed to just jump out of crawl spaces in this game. <laughs> Hell, you're not designed to do that all the time in Chronicles either, so this could be a deal breaker. How does one let themselves down safely in modern mode? It would have been nice if they gave you like a button in both crawling mode and in standing mode. So just like hold down that button to have Lara move in a tank-like manner. So that when I press left and right, she just turns normally. Because it's such a necessary thing that you need to do in these games to just turn around without like turning Lara's entire body frontwards or otherwise. Because Lara's, Lara's movements completely depend on which way she's facing. If you're approaching a slide, you kind of have to like jump backwards if you wanted to jump forwards off the slide. Now you have to go through the extra effort of like jumping forward, then slide, then jump, and then do a twist in midair or something. Ugh. Of course, you can always hold down your guns out button, which is how you would actually do that in Legend and Anniversary and Underworld. But the thing about the Legend trilogy is that the platforming didn't really call for you to like do acrobatics left right and such it didn't really matter what way lara is facing she just kind of interacted with what was in front of her well guys that has been my early uh, exhausting review of the control scheme <sighs> i don't know i think they need to like adjust some things here because the modern controls as as i see it it'll sabotage people like that thing with the crawl space and... Winston, how did you get in here? That thing with the crawl space and, you know, parts of how you shoot and especially how you do running and jumping. God, I pressed for... I'm pressing forward and she's... Ugh. I'm pressing the forward D-pad and she's doing this. And I pressed right there and she's doing that. Oh my god, I don't understand. I don't know, maybe, it, maybe it'll make more sense um, on controller. I'm not playing on controller, but that... That's nuts. Enjoy the remaster if you're playing with modern controls, lord help you. Um, I recommend tank controls as everyone else does. Like modern controls, there needs to be a lot more done to make it adapt to this. And honestly, it, it, couldn't, never, it couldn't ever be pure modern or pure like Legend Trilogy vibes. It would always have to be a sort of hybrid because of the way this, this game works and all the like, careful things you have to do. Winston, what do you think about this? You know, it would have been nice. It would have been nice to, like, push you in the water. What do you say, Winston? Swim? Do you feel lucky, Winston? Disappointing. Is he moving still? I wish they had taken the extra effort and, like, had him fall into the pool. That would have been nice. Anyway, that's it. Bye.